people have heard of Edward Bernays, which is usually coined as the father of public relations or the father of propaganda. And he was a part of the CPI, this Committee on Public Information. But the chairman was a guy named George Creel. And this guy was a political operative. But this whole thing started in 1917 because Woodrow Wilson wanted to convince the people that World War I was justified. Because think about it. What's going on right now? So Israel and Hamas are going to war. Of course, America is going to postulate that they should be involved. It's an ally. It's not a NATO issue. It's an ally issue. So they need to convince you, the public, you should help us. You should support us. You should support Israel. You should give them money. You should give us money. You should allow us to get another $20 billion. But I know you're tired of giving money to Ukraine. So why don't you give us $20 billion so we can help Israel? Everybody loves Israel, right? So give us more money because nobody wants to give more money to Ukraine. They're tired of that. They don't want to hear that. But they still need this money. This is what we call the military industrial complex. We still need this money. And you know what's crazy? They do, they're they so good at this. So, you know, you get like a really dramatic music. It's like, and then they all of a sudden have these pictures of these black hawks flying through the air. It's like, and then you see this massive aircraft carrier with like 12 boats next to it. And they're all just like, and then you see like an eagle flying across. And then you see these military people jumping out of the black hawks. Like, and then you just see in the comments, it's like, yeah, they're going to see what America's all about. And you can just tell. They are, they're yumming it up. And like America hasn't even done anything, but everybody's like, yeah, we're going to show you what the red, white, and blue is all about. Well, what's really sad and actually disrespectful on America's part is that there are real lives that are lost and real children who are captured and tortured and women and all these horrible things happening. So what does America do? They make as much money off them as they can. And then anybody who calls them out, like we're doing, then they're going to ban us and be like that's mean you can't stop us from taking money from these people who are getting tortured and you know then yeah the, that'll be the next propaganda is anybody and you could already feel it in the air even talking about this stuff saying that yes the war is real yes this stuff is really happening but no we don't need to keep sending all this money to america purposes that's where everybody you're going to lose everybody and you're going to seem like the terrorist they're going to call you a terrorist for suggesting that we shouldn't be raising our interest rates and we shouldn't be paying more in taxes and we shouldn't be inflating our American dollar more. You're going to look like the terrorist because like, how could you? We have to help them. How could you? Yeah, of course. And that is, that's actually the byproduct of propaganda. Because if you didn't have a, a what do they call it, a nemesis, a villain, this wouldn't work. Like there has to be a bad man so you can be seen as the champion. So it's perfect. They push and they're working on nationalism. They're working on the intuitive factor of every citizen of any culture. It doesn't matter if you're in America, China, Russia, Russia, you feel I am a Russian. I'm an American. And so then there's some pride in that. And the government knows. So they feed on it. It's like, we know you're a good American citizen. We know you want to be a proud American. So support whatever the agenda is and help us suppress. Here comes the word misinformation. Help us reduce misinformation, even though what they're saying is misinformation. And this is what they do. And there has to be a nemesis. There has to be the boogeyman. And it's anybody with a contrary opinion. And you'll see it constantly. Like the CPI, this committee, the, the official, the first 1917 first official America Propaganda Committee, the Committee on Public Information. They had multiple means. Like this was the first group of people, so they could try anything. They made pamphlets, brochures, cartoons. And this was the infancy of Operation Mockingbird. They made so many movies, patriotic movies. You would always see, and there's so many people who took these old clips and showed you the subliminal messaging, like frame by frame, and then you could see the American mm -hmm. flag and stuff like that. This is all premeditated. They wanted to try everything they possibly could to convince you, this is how you are American. And But this was the infancy. The CIA hasn't even been developed yet. CIA is what pushes out the Operation Mockingbird. But this is the beginning of it. This is where it all started, where they had to convince the public, you need to support this world war. 